हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय मैजिकल वर्ल्ड सो टुडे आई एम हियर विद द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल एंड मोस्ट प्रेफर्ड हाउस प्लान दैट इज एंथोरियम सो टुडे आई डिस्कस एवरीथिंग लाइक ऑल द डिटेल्स अबाउट एंथोरियम लाइक इट्स केयर प्रोपोगेशन इंसेक्ट्स वाटर लाइटनिंग एवरीथिंग सो लेट्स बिगिन Anthurium are a uh, perennial plants and it's native to South America, Central America and Caribbean. So although they like to grow in outdoor garden in warm weather, however, anthurium is more often grown as house plants. Why? Because of its easy care features. So it doesn't need uh, much effort to grow it. But it's uh, we we have to give some effort to maintain its uh, growth so friends uh, let's uh, um, start with its uh, propagation so anthurium are basically known for its waxy leaves its uh, very um, uh, bright colors the anthuriums are available in different colors like pink white and very bright red so here i have red and the pink anthurium so let's start with propagation you can uh, propagate the plant uh, from seeds as well as uh, stem or air roots so it's uh, always better if you propagate it from air roots so it's easy to grow but if you want to try with uh, in seeds then it will take around 4 to 4 and 1/2 hours to grow so it's always better to grow the anthurium from uh, its air roots so uh, whenever you see that air roots say these are see we can see the uh, roots so these are very small so whenever you see that uh, the uh, roots the air roots coming out from the soil line from here and this is coming down then uh, it's the best time to uh, uh, propagate it in another uh, pot you can uh, cut it very carefully separate it and then plant it in another pot so um, this air roots uh, or the uh, stems whenever you are cutting it you have to be very careful and after cutting like you have to wash it properly and then you can report it Re uh, regarding the report uh, reporting of uh, anthurium so i'll make another video so that i'll explain everything regarding the uh, reporting of anthurium so uh, it's always uh, better to uh, take out the air roots or stem from the uh, plants that have stopped blooming or decreased blooming so that you know uh, they will not get hurt so it's better when they stop blooming you just take out the uh, stem or air roots so next is its watering yes so anthurium are um, you know they are very comfortable in warm weather but they are always thirsty they need lots of water but at the same time they do not like too much water so anthuriums have big fleshy roots that rot easily in water locked soil so it's always better to water once a week or so so basically like um, you know watering depend on the weather like if the weather is uh, around 40 degrees very hot or above 35 then definitely it's better to sprinkle water uh, every day and after every alternate day if the weather is very uh, dry it's better to uh, uh, pour full water so that the water will come out from the uh, bottom uh, the holes so or or like and in other day you just like take a sprinkler and just sprinkle little water on the flowers and leaves carefully so it's it's about its watering so now uh, it's light yes so anthurium like warm weather weather, weather that i said so they like a uh, um, very bright light direct sunlight even but again it depends on the weather condition if the weather condition is uh, good is pleasant then you can keep uh, your pots under the direct sunlight for 2 to 3 hours but if it's dry and it's slightly hot then never 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 keep your a pot um, uh, under direct sunlight so it's always better to keep them under shade 
like here in the balcony i have kept it so it's getting the indirect sunlight so they are growing very well so uh, regarding lighting you have to keep in mind they uh, need lots of water at the same time they need lots of uh, sunlight lots of light so regarding its lighting yes and indoor also you can uh, grow because they like uh, humidity so if you want to keep uh, it in your washrooms then definitely it's a good idea because uh, they like uh, uh, humidity also so uh, inside washrooms yes definitely they can grow very happily next is the fertilizer so they do not need much fertilizer but it's better if every three months you can add you know you have to dig this part this part and add some vermi compost that would work very well so they do not uh, need very um, you know uh, the big quantity of fertilizer now um, regarding is insects they are it's it's very rarely get infected with some insects but if you see any pests there then uh, no problem we can uh, uh, spray water the normal water if you spray it then the like slowly slowly the insects or the pets will uh, flush away or you can use uh, the mix little bit uh, turmeric in a water and just spray it that's it and uh, next is uh, about is pruning yes this is the most important part regarding is um, regarding its pruning so whenever you see that uh, see here i'll show you see this uh, 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 leaf it's half brown so what i'll do i'll just cut this portion not the whole leaf but for example this leaf you can see this leaf it's almost dried out so if it's dried out then what i'll do i'll not cut only the only the leaf i'll cut the whole stem like here as you can see here i'll cut it so that the uh, the plant will not get much uh, stress so like that you have to prune it now you can see the flowers these are very bright and uh, its speciality is its waxy uh, leaves and the buds and the flowers see how nice it's looking so uh, yes i think friend i have covered all the everything related to anthurium how to grow so now basically i want to give you five tips uh, regarding this the main tips that you have to keep in mind so basically first use this uh, fertilizer that is uh, high in phosphorus so that uh, you know uh, it will promote blooms in flowering varieties different different varieties of flowers are there no so it's better to use fertilizer with phosphorus now number 2 use a soil that is very loose so that the water can uh, pass through very easily that is the number 2 point number 3 point don't be uh, very alarmed or very scared when you see the roots going out from the stems so it's very natural for example you can see here you can see the small small roots coming out so what you have to do you just cut it with a uh, uh, sterilized uh, cutter and just cut very carefully and then take out the roots now number 4 so as your anthurium grows so it's always better to place it in a next bigger pot so repotting it uh, very important because crowded roots will stunt the plant's growth so repotting is important then the last point is when the flowers fade and you know uh, you want to remove them cut at the base that i have already mentioned that cut at the base of the flower stem so that you know they'll get some strength to grow So friends I think I have covered all the uh, parameters uh, of uh, growing anthurium so thank you for watching friend and uh, please like my video and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much friend see you in my next video bye bye